In this episode, I go trolling swimming garfish or ballyhoo in the hopes of finding some early season pelagics for the barbecue. I also try my hand at jigging and float lining for some tasty reef species. Check it out. Have a go there. Now I know what you're thinking. Why is it so sunny for the start of a video? Well, thanks to a dodgy weather forecast, I ended up sitting at the boat ramp for three hours waiting for the wind to back off. Alas, it finally did, and with the sun well and truly up by now, it was time to defrost the baits and get to work. That is a couple of sexy rigged baits. There's no way that's not gonna catch a fish. That just looks too good. Bit of flash, garfish, rigged to swim. Time to get it wet. Bait number two, looking good. Oh yeah. Baits are set. Let's get it done. I did a few uneventful laps around the fad without a single hit and just wasn't happy with the rigging of my baits. A quick stop to drop a hook out and I was ready to go again. Now that's the rig again. I've changed from a three hook to a two hook now. Just because the gar were a little bit smaller. Um, gives them a bit more action on the swim too. It's a good one. All right. Well, we got a hook up. Let's ditch this. Looks to be a good fish too. Took a heap of line. Oh, well, g'day ladies and gents. And welcome to another Sammy Hitsky fishing adventure. Out getting our first taste of summer. Trolling. A few garfish in the hopes of tangling with the mighty dolphin fish. We've just had a first hookup. This fish hasn't jumped though, so I'm not sure what it is. Winning some line back now. It's not a dolphin fish. Could be anything, potentially a wahoo. Pretty much anything will eat a garfish. There's no denying that. Hasn't done much since that first run. We're we about to see him. What have we got? It's a wahoo. Just. It's just a wahoo. <laughs> Probably more of a wee-hoo than anything, but I'll tell you what. We'll take it. <laughs> yes, and we are on the board. Whew. Now you guys would remember, I had a few dramas with Wahoo last year, waiting for gaff shots, and then ended up getting no shots. Well, my New Year's resolution was, if you've got a shot, take it. No matter where it is, a fish in the boat, particularly when you're chasing a feed, is better than one that swims away. 
and I've got one in the boat. That is so cool. A little wahoo. It's wondering why he didn't jump. And there we go, only a small wahoo to open the season, but it's a wahoo nonetheless. Absolutely smoked that gar with the wog head. I thought it might have been a dolphin fish, but he never jumped. And I'll tell you what, I'll take him. Beautiful, beautiful meat stick. These guys are fantastic eating, I love them. And uh, with the amount of fish that I have at home, which is absolutely zero, this guy is definitely coming with us. How good is that? Oh no, that's gonna be a de-hooker job, that one. There we go, hooks out. Now, because we're keeping him for a feed, it'd be very rude if we didn't give him the royal treatment. You'd only be stitching yourself up. Brain spike first, and get that blood out of there. He's already done a bit of bleeding by the looks. I'm just gonna leave him sit down here. Do a bit more bleeding. Well, uh, clean up me mess. Well, that's one way to make sure you need to give it a salty captain hit when you get home. First fish, blood on the deck. All right. We best get another bait out there. guy in the ice. It'd be nice if his bigger brother's home. Not complaining though, that's for sure. I reckon this one just got hit. If it did, there's a fair chance the garfish will be ruined. Yes, indeedy. So that is what we call getting sucked off. Now, obviously there's a few different uses for the terminology getting sucked off. This one, doesn't really leave you with the same feeling of satisfaction. Uh, you certainly don't have a smile on your face after, but lost a bait though, so they're still chewing. I better check the other one, make sure uh, it's not gone as well. Re-rig, get it back out there. Uh, this one's all good still. Just the one re-rig. With both baits back out and swimming tantalizingly well, it was time to pull another close pass to see if I could tempt a bite. Just got a hook up now. The other rod just got hit as well. This might be our dolphin fish we were chasing. Haven't seen any jumps again. Coming towards me. I think I got sucked off on the other rod as well. Could have been a double. That'd have been good. Still no jump. Not sure what this is. Be funny if it's another who. 
They're not meant to be here just yet. I'm keen for anything though. Too much estuary fishing of late and a uh, bit too much beach work. Means the fish stockpiles, or at least the reef fish stockpiles, are very low. He's angling up there now. Oh, it's a little dolly. It's a little dolly. Certainly not what you call a big one, but I'll take any. I think this is more of a lift than a gaff. Gotta be careful with it. Come on here, mate. You know what? Bugger it. No mistakes. No mistakes. There we go. Now we're putting a feed together. Well, we have the target species. This is what I actually came out here to catch. Obviously the fads, very well known for having a big dolphin fish population coming into summer. That is, we are just in the right time of the year for that. Just wash it. Wash the blood off it. Oh, now he's doing the dolphin fish thing. I gaffed him right in the line. There you go. Nice little one. Definitely not a monster, but I'll tell you what, he's coming home with us. Tasty little addition. Oh, he's just repainted my boat for me too, which is good. Better knock it out of gear here. And we'll deal with this guy accordingly. Bleed him over this side, a bit easier to clean. Righto. Leave him here, he can do his bleeding thing. Now this rod got a hit as well, so I'm pretty certain. Be able to classify this one as a suck off. To get a head back, potentially a head job. Sorry, parents. <laughs> oh, you got hit. Got hit. Just, um, yeah, it'll need a re rig. It's been, he's been sucked, but, um, they haven't followed through with it. Just a, uh, yeah, just a halfy, just a tease. That one, re-rig, do it again. You can go down that side, my friend. After a few more runs without any more interest, I came up with a little side quest idea to kill a couple of hours. What I might do now is leave these dollies for a bit. There was another boat working them as well, so they're probably a bit shut down. I might head out a bit wider, drop some of these baits that have been smashed up down on some reef and see if I can't get a snapper or a pearly. Just, uh, just to, to fill the bag a little bit, then I'll come back here this afternoon a bit later on and see if I can razz another one up. Feed's looking good though, I'm very happy. 30 minutes or so of searching with the Simrad over some reef and I located a nice patch of life with some bigger archers sitting around it. The perfect place for a drop. I had a catchy catchy jig down in Rodney Rodholder's capable hands and I was planning on floating down a bait as well. Now, <clears throat> usually I just use my jigging outfit but I thought bugger it. I'll just use the trolling one, go full old school, it's got 30 pound mono on it. And just do full old school float line spec. Oh. And of course, if you're gonna have a fish, you gotta get that catchy down there. Because I want fillets.
Get you on. Well, that didn't take long. Not a bad fish either. Now, if you remember, we got to fight these on really light drag because the catchies only have tiny hooks. It just feels like a little squarry snap. So my plan is out here to fish, obviously, the... Oh, he might be a bit better than he feels. Is to fish the catchy in the holder and then fish a bait. Some of the uh, garfish, I've also got some squid heads and stuff there. This is a, uh, he's woken up, this one. He's a nice fish. Love to get a look at him. Just going super light. Oh, this might be the big snap we're chasing. Full on meat crisis at home. Usually have a freezer full of fish. But I've eaten through it. So, come on mate. Love to get a look at ya. There's a bit of colour. Alright, I put your bets on. Snapper or pearly. I'm gonna say snapper, I reckon. Because I saw it and it's a cracker. It is a cracker. Come here, mate. Come here. Oh, yes. You ripper. <laughs> First drop. Thank you for coming. Happy boy, that's some fillets. That is some proper fillets. Oh, yes. Well, that's the exact thing we wanted to happen out here. Have a go at that for a fish. What a belter. Smash the catchy. Haven't done a lot of catching this year. Uh, just never got around to it. Happy to make up for lost time now though. That is an absolute corker. That's probably going to be the fish over 72. So I'll, um, yeah, have to keep them smaller than this for the rest. But uh, that's a lovely fish to start on. I'm really happy with that. Beautiful fillets, great size for eating. Big knob on the head. After being sucked off a few times on the dolphin fish, it's nice to get one with a big knob. <laughs> Oh, he was going nowhere, those hooks are in every which way. That's perfect. Leave him there for a bit of a bleed. Let's go again. Okay. Another three more like that, thanks Catchy. And then, all in the name of recycling, that's just one of the garfish that we used on a three gang on my trolling outfit. Make sure that's nice and straight. Catch his on. Wow. Well, that's another really nice fish. Oh, 
All got beaten to the punch there. Catchy down first, on first. And another really nice fish. Struth, he's still going. Well, didn't even get the bait down again. Catchy got slammed. Oh, another really nice fish. I wonder if I can get this one down into the zone while I'm fighting. That would be the move. The old Dublé hookup. Oh, that was a bite, I think. Okay, better concentrate on this fish. It's getting close. This is as good as it feels. I might even have to get the uh, measuring mat out and see. Make sure we're under 70 for at least one of them. Oh. Oh, we had a hit. <laughs> oh, they're going off. The old lunchtime boy. Everyone's having a chew. We're at the colour stage. Oh, another stud stamper. Oh, what a cracker. Quickly measure this guy. Make sure he's uh, he's under 60, uh, under 70. Well, what's this guy first? So that guy, he's about 69. So it doesn't matter what this guy is. He's going to be all right. I think he's smaller anyway. There's 70. So he's about a 68, 67. Beautiful, two eaters. Well, this is what caused the fuss. We've got a 69 and a 67 centimeter snapper on board. And we missed one on the bait. That is a cracking little bite we got going on here. So I'm gonna capitalize, see if I can get my four and then I'll leave them alone and go back to chasing dolphin fish, I reckon. How good is that? Yeah, got hit all right. Chalk that up as a miss. <laughs> right, redrift. Well, this is working out rather well. So, Let's have another crack. Oh, almost got a bird. Bait, get down there. I want to angle one. I always like to give Catchy a stop every now and again. Just because you never know when she's going to go. Here we go. Yes! Yes! One for bait. That was sick. 
Oh, good fish too. Just took off with it. Well, that's just good fun. It's always nice to help out Rodney. He does such a good job. It's just nice to give him a hand every once in a, once in a while. So a bit of backstory on these rods. These Texalium rods. Still make them too. If you were chasing one, hit up the Wilson guys. The model is RLF TX 12. They were originally made as a snapper rod. But they just turned out to be an awesome trolling rod as well. Nothing like doing it a bit old school. Well, I'll tell you what. Talk about snapper for days, holy dooly. another beautiful fish in that same sort of class must be the the school that is another lovely lovely fish what an out of control bite Well, this one's for you, Dicko. Mono, eight foot snapper rod, slash trolling rod, and uh, a garfish that got sucked off by a dolphin fish. And another Kraken snapper. I'll measure this guy just to make sure he's, see if he's under or over. At this stage, we don't have any over 70. We've got a 69 and a 67. This guy might just make it, but it doesn't really matter. We're only chasing one more for a feed. Just gotta make sure it's a small one. Unreal. What a bite we're having. From the same cloth. Another 67, 68 centimetre fish. Well, this might be the final drop if we get another fish. Doesn't seem to be any pearlies around. Obviously, four snapper, the bag limit. Definitely not going to complain about that. Said all day. Very keen to put some fish back in the uh, Hitsky residence. And I think we've achieved just that. Maybe one more dolphin fish should be. Unreal, but even still, I think we're doing all right. All right, hey. Catchy, you gonna have a go this trip? Catchy, he's gonna have a go. Right. Okie doke. Well, that's how that's gonna happen. <clears throat> Don't mess with Catchy, eh? Uh. Don't taunt Rodney. He will come through with the goods. Just another nice fish too. Oh, he's off. Well, that's not ideal. Well, over. Okay. Well, if Catchy can't do it, at least you know what, I've got his back. Uh oh, don't get eaten Catch. We don't need any more. <sighs> uh. 
It's such a cool eat on the mono. You don't really feel too much of a bite. It just starts hammering out. Oh, lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely to finish it off. Well, no point rushing it. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. And that is a bag out of Snapper in about an hour, solo. And dropped a couple as well. Can't say there's a great deal of skill involved, so definitely on the shoot. And it comes out of the draw. Two to old school and two to Rodney. That's a beautiful panty as well. Unreal fishing, unreal. And it's midday, it's dead set midday. They are on the bite. Wish I didn't get up so early this morning. All right, time to get these fish all packed up nicely in the esky, in the ice bag. And uh, probably start to head our way back in. There you go. That should get them cold nice and quick. Put me baits back in, close her up, and that won't get opened again unless we get another fish. <laughs> Now while I'm doing this final little trial, thought I might address one of the questions that I get uh, almost weekly when I'm doing these trips out on the big boat by myself. And it's how do you manage the safety? And I've touched on it before and I really should uh, do it more often, but obviously the biggest risk for me out here is either mechanical failure on the boat, which isn't such a big deal. The big one is me falling in because often the boat is in gear, so if you fall in, that boat is gone. So that's why I always wear, you would have seen it around my waist at all times, this PFD, and then attached to the PFD, I've got the GME personal locator beacon. If I fall in, yes, it's gonna suck that the boat will be gone, but I can float, this inflates, and I can also signal for help. Now that is a massive game changer because otherwise without it, you're just there floating around hoping someone sees you or hoping someone sees that your boat is off doing weird things and then they join the dots. With this, the second I go in, activate the PLB and uh, they can come get me and then we'll work out a plan to go get the boat. At the end of the day, as long as you're safe, you can get another boat, but you can't get another used. Now, as well as that, I've got all your standard boat safety gear that is required. Of course, one of the big ones is your big marine EPIRB. Now that PLB does not replace the need for this guy. You still need one of these. The PLB is just a nice to have, an extra bit of protection, but you still need your big GME. Firefighting equipment. You'd be crazy not to have some. Again, you don't need it until you need it. And when you need it, you need it bad. Obviously, I've got flares and V-sheet and all that as well. The other big one is your VHF marine radio. Check your local rules and regulations to see what you do and don't need on your boat by law. But most importantly, take this as your annual reminder to check out all your safety gear before you hit the water this summer. Just remember, it could save your life. Righto, let's turn around and have another crack at these dollies. Fish on, fish on. All right. Fat a little hook up. That wind is starting to puff up as well. So, and this is our last, last bait. So I reckon we can get this guy, might even be our home time fish. Haven't got eyes on it yet, I think it's just a little dolly. Certainly not fighting too crazy.
only a pup, but he will do. <laughs> well, that is how you restock your fridge and freezer full of fish. Two dolphin fish, one wahoo, four snapper, home time, I think. Home time, home time, home time. That's why I gaffed him. Calm, calm, calm. <laughs> Just in the process of saying, did I have to gaff this guy? Of course not. But they do like having a tan. And there you have it, the final piece of the puzzle. That is a Kraken Brisbane mixed bag. Some fantastic chewing in the mix. And most of all, fresh fish for me and the family now. Oh, But let's dispatch this guy, get him in the ice and get out of here. Well guys, just cleaning the boat up now. It is an absolute mess. Those dolphin fish and wahoo made a proper meal of it. There's blood and stains everywhere. So I thought I'd give you a bit of a salty Captain Hot tip. Obviously, do your outboard with the outboard flush. Usually I'd be using this. This is just your standard salt wash, but because we got a lot of dirt, grime, and a few blood stains, give the grease attack a good old run. Now this stuff is like your heavy duty citrus cleaner pulls stains out of everything mix a bit of that in your musket and away you go now if you've got a really stubborn stain just spray this stuff on directly and it will work an absolute treat there you go there's a few before shots let's get into it i'll show you some afters and it's done back to being shiny again well team that is a good old-fashioned seq mixed bag a damn fine one at that snapper dolphin fish and wahoo three of the tastiest fish that are out there at the moment even if i do say so myself now the keener eyes oh sorry if you are having a beer guys cheers to you keener eyes would notice there is in fact one snapper missing that guy was dinner last night he got chewed on as soon as i got home fillets off straight in the frying pan so good to have fish back on the menu. I can give you the hot tip right now. Now I was thinking, we have filleted a few snapper recently and a couple of dolphin fish as well. So today I reckon we fill it up the wahoo. Haven't done one of them in ages and hopefully it's gonna be the first of many to come this season. The season's probably a month or two off and hopefully we can see some big ones this year. Fingers crossed, but let's fill it him up. Someone say wahoo ceviche, wahoo sashimi, barbecued wahoo, grilled wahoo. The possibilities are endless. I'm looking forward to this. Cheers. How good was that? That's got to be one of the best offshore sessions I've had in a long, long time. Everything went to plan. And more importantly, I've got to put some fish back in the fridge and freezer. I can't wait to get stuck into it. 
Back to business though, guys. Christmas is coming up and I've just done a full restock of the Sammy Hitsky fishing merch. I've been very slack this year, but it's all gonna be back in stock in time for Christmas. Matter of fact, if you wanna jump on the Sammy Hitsky fishing website Wednesday afternoon, I'll put the time and date right here, you'll be able to see all the cool new stuff that's coming in hot. The keener eyes would have seen this one. This is the new big fish, big baits. Shirt, it's in a fishing style shirt. Had heaps of people asking for it, so I got it done. Now, if you don't like busy shirts, there's one for you as well. Cheers beers at the front, nothing on the back, and just Sammy Hitsky fishing up the arm. Cool and stylish. Bottle openers will finally be back in stock, and not just this style either. I've collaborated with some epic local lure builders to bring some insane bottle openers. Keep your eyes peeled for those. They are gonna go so fast, but Always cool to have around the uh, pool table and the bar. All the staples will be there as well. D hookers, hats of all shapes and sizes, and hoodies all back in stock. Make sure you check out the website, sammyhitskyfishing.com, Wednesday afternoon. If you're chasing Chrissy presents or just want to kit yourself out, get on there and grab yours before they sell out. Now, guys, that unfortunately is all we've got time for this weekend. Really hope you enjoyed this episode. Hope you're getting out for a fish. Hope you're all safe and well, and I'll catch you next week for another Sammy Hitsky Fishing Adventure. Cheers. That is what we call getting sucked off. <laughs>